Jazz hands, it's showbiz! Jazz hands, it's showbiz! What an annoying wanker Simon was. Simon, you are an actor. You are a fake. Get it? It's showbiz. 40 years in showbiz, eh, boys and girls? So if he's been in showbiz for 40 years, where the hell has he been? Has he been hiding at my backside or someone else's backside? I don't know, because I've never heard of him, and no one famous has ever heard of him, because I was talking to quite a few famous people on Twitter last night, and no one had heard of him, so I don't get it. Um, he's gone, but they'll probably bring him back just to annoy us, but he was, oh, he was awful, wasn't he? I mean, come on, please. I'm sure, look, if you like Simon, I'm sorry. He was bloody awful, bloody awful. But, uh, what's his name? Pie Face? Is it Pie Face? I think it's Pie Face. Love the kid. He's very popular already and he's favourite to win. Now, what does this mean? This means that um, anyone in there will know he's favourite to win. Um, they'll get feelings and stuff like that. And um, Now, it'll be very hard for, for the rest of them to target him because they can't bully him about his weight because that will just come across in the wrong way. Not that that stopped people in the past. Um... I think they're going to have to be very tactical and very intelligent on how they'll have to try and find his weaknesses because this is going to be very interesting. One of the most interesting things last night wasn't the the so-called kind of time bomb twist because it wasn't. It was really a, a straightforward twist, wasn't it? But it was really the fact that y you guys, I can't because. I haven't got this Big Brother app. It's um, I've got Android. I've got a version of Android. I can't get it. It's a load of bollocks, people. Let's let's put it this way: load of balls, right? They got this. They got these kind of. They got this app, right? And last year you could only download it on the Apple App Store. I think that's correct, yeah. I'm on Android, so I don't know how Apple works. As far as I'm concerned, I haven't touched Apple with a barge ball because I know you you have to pay for everything you kind of download. So not interested. Um, so I'm an Android boy, I can't get it, but you guys, you guys can, um, if you've got Apple or you've got a version of Android you can use, you can vote for your winner of Big Brother. Now what does this mean? Now, this basically means this is going to be a big mindfuck, boys and girls, because, um, obviously they're going to know which one is voted the most popular, then that the most popular will get to do something that he or she doesn't want to do, and it'll put them in a very awkward position. Now... Emma said last night that this is not voting for the actual winner. I don't know if there'll be a twist along the road saying that person. I would think it would be kind of interesting to announce the winner, like, now, and have them know they're the winner to the end. How would that affect them? Be stuck in the house with a bunch of people that know they're not going to win, because the winner's there. Now, I was very vocal in saying from the moment that Helen... Was, was it Helen Wood... Um, was basically given a pass through to the final. I stopped watching last year, which was a shame for me, and I couldn't carry on with the page because I was so angry with the show because I thought that was outrageous and I, I thought it was not fair. And it's not because I don't like Helen Wood. I have uh, spoken to her on Twitter before. I think she, she's a little bit misunderstood, um, difficult person to kind of like in a lot of different ways, but when you get to know people, you get to like them, and they're not as bad as you think they are, but I still think whoever that would have happened, it was so unfair to give someone a pass to the final, and it looked like a big fix, like Simon looked like, a, like an actor last night, because, come on people, who goes around going, jazz hands, jazz hands, jazz hands, jazz hands, it's showbiz, it's showbiz, look, listen, you might say it a couple of times a day, but you wouldn't keep on doing it. Now, obviously, he could be just be playing up to the camera, trying to get famous. That's probably what he's doing. Maybe he's not an actor. Maybe I'm wrong. Sorry, Channel 5. Sorry, Endemol. Sorry, BB. I still love you. But I'm glad he's gone because he was annoying that out of me. He really was. So I'm glad he's gone. Right. Um, I still can't remember all the names. Um, but that's the exciting thing about Big Brother, as I said last night. Uh, you can kind of get to know people, and then you get to like them or dislike them. Um, definitely Sarah, the hottest one there, as I said last night. Um, definitely, Sarah, you are that. But is she a nice person? We'll have to find out. The problem is with those kind of videos you get, the launch videos, they're, all, they're always bullshit because they want to make an impression. But when you, you normally find... These people go, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. They never actually do anything. They end up being the most boring people. So 
it's going to be very interesting about Pie Face, as I said, and people's reaction to him, because they're going to have to be nice to him, especially when the vote comes in. The vote's going to come in, and we all know who everyone's going to vote for, unless you bad, bad Big Brother fans, what if you all start voting tactically for this so-called your, your favourite housemate, most popular housemate? And what if you give it to someone that you really don't like? That'd give them a, a false impression, wouldn't it? And of course, would that be the biggest mind fuck of all, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be brilliant? I think it would be awesome. It would, I think, guys, guys, you've got to do this. Guys, you've got to do this, right? Just keep on voting for someone you don't like, the biggest a-hole in there. Make them think they're popular. Make them think they're going to win. It will, basically, it will mean they'll fuck themselves up so much that they'll be out within two weeks. I'm telling you guys, you've got to do this. So who don't you like? Um, uh, there's actually quite a few people initially I didn't like. Um, I, 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 as I said, I don't know the names, but there's the, there's the gay lad who's a model. I liked him. He came across really sweet and kind of naive. And that's, that's a great quality for a Big Brother housemate. Because what happens is then people don't see you as a threat. They don't target you. And because they're worried that the audience uh, won't like them. So... I thought he was a sweet kid, not because he's gay or because he's a model or anything like that. I just, he'd come across as a nice lad. So, and I, I like nice people. I'm sorry about that, but I like nice people. So, but this isn't the end of the housemates. You know what's going to happen. This is Big Brother. There will be some people booted out, some people bought in. So there's a, there's a, there's a lot of things to go on. As you know, I did audition. Um, I, did, I didn't audition. I went through to the process. Um... I could have auditioned, but let me explain to you the situation. The situation is this, that I'm in here in Cyprus for one reason, because my parents are Greek Cypriots living in Cyprus, they're both disabled, they need my support, so, and, and that's why I couldn't do the auditions. I, I had the opportunity to do the, the, the auditions. It's my dream to be on Big Brother. Um, it's probably never going to happen now. I mean, 42. I'm going to keep on doing it. Um, who knows what could happen next year? I'm trying, looking to change my life. and things. I don't want to go in there. That's boring. We're here to talk about Big Brother, aren't we? So, yeah, no Big Brother for me this year, but we'll, we'll, see, we'll see in the future what we can do. So, I enjoyed it. I, 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 thought, um, I thought Emma was brilliant. I like Rylan. <laughs> I'm still finding it hard to get into him on a um, bit on the side. I do like him and I do wish him the best. I do want him to do well. But to me, I'm kind of biased because Dermot O'Leary was so awesome on BBLB. No one's come close to Dermot, has it? Come, come on. Who's come close to Dermot? Or Davina, let's be honest about it. But we don't want to start comparing because Emma's doing a brilliant job. And really, Ryland, for someone who's not naturally been trained for this, um, he's done really well. Obviously, he's had sun training since he was given the job. But... It's not like this is this is not what he wanted to do with his life. He wanted to be a singer. So he's doing admirably well. Um, I just think the after shows just have never been the same since Dermot. Dermot was involved with the planning of all those shows. It was basically basically BBLB was tailored for a Dermot's strengths. And crazy that he's been booted off the X Factor. I mean, that is ridiculous. I hope he, hope he gets work because the, he's, a, he's a great guy and um, even, I think he's an Arsenal fan, but we'll let him off, right? No offence, Arsenal fans. I'm a man, you, you, you can hate me if you want. That's that's fine. So your, uh, your highlight shows are at 10 o'clock every night. Now, basically, I'm in Cyprus. I'm two hours ahead, so I have to stay up till midnight. I, now, the problem is, I have found a way to watch On Demand over here, but this thing I do called Telepass, which charged me about five... Five euro a month, so um, I can trick my PlayStation into thinking I'm in the UK. Um, uh, Channel Five is a bit too clever, and uh, Five Demand I can't use Five Demand. So I have got something else called Expat Vision, which is Sky Abroad. So they have kind of got a catch-up service, but it's not always reliable. So literally, I have to stay up till midnight and go like that. So I might need a couple of drinks to do it. Hey, I've got to try something, but I'm definitely going to watch it. Maybe a video straight after. Definitely a video during the day like I'm doing now. Now, obviously, I'm more motivated to do a video if something as exciting to happen, and I, I want to talk to you guys about it and um, get your kind of input on what's going on. It started well. I'm looking forward to it. I don't think we're ever going to get the kind of Big Brothers, the classic Big Brothers, Big Brother 1, 2, and 3, Big Brother 5. I think Big Brother 5 was awesome as well. Was that when they all beat each other up and they had to shut the show down for a, for a day or two? 
you're never going to get to that level. But I, you've got to congratulate um, Channel 5. They've, they've still got good ratings and it, it still gets the attention. Not the attention it used to, but it's still a great reality show. Still the king of reality shows. Right. Whatever you're doing, don't miss BB tonight. I shall return. And there'll be loads of posting on the page as well. So don't forget about the page. Tell people about it. See you later. Bye-bye.